everyone. <laughs> okay, now, um, this is not a funny matter at all, but at the same time, it's funny because I can't just imagine the craziness that happens in our country, right? This is something. So, the Nigerian army is feeling so cool, and it said, amid hardship, Nigerian army increases feeding allowance from 1,200 to 1,500 for soldiers fighting Boko Haram bandits or that these Sahara reporters, you know, reporting the news. So, and by the way, just, just hold on, hold on. When I said from 1,200 to 1,500, I'm not talking per meal. I'm talking per day. Absolutely, yes, you heard me right. No, you heard me right, it's per day. You have a, we have such a serious situation of insecurity in our country. You know, no one that is, the, those uh, terrorist bandits, they're always doing videos, smoking Nigeria, smoking our soldiers, doing also. They know what's up. They know what's up. They know that we are not serious at all. We are not interested in fighting insecurity. Because for a nation that is interested in fighting insecurity, I cannot imagine that 1,002 is what you give your soldiers to eat per day, and now you've increased it to 1,005 with all the increment, with the food inflation that is in the country and how expensive things are. Even a child, 1,500 naira food, will even feed a child. How much is one pack of uh, uh, nudu? If they do nudu for you, how much is that one plate? So that one five is what these people will eat, and you expect them to do these heavy duty jobs that they do all the time. Meanwhile, they see how monies are being recklessly wasted, are being used, monies are being looted. You know, uh, the, ins the fight against insecurity has been the biggest conduit pipe that Nigeria has had in terms of how this money is constantly uh, they are wasting. If you see me keep moving the camera, I'm just trying to get a bit of light. I don't know why. It's so dark. It was. It wasn't this bad earlier. Just all of a sudden, right now, it just became. It became dark. But you know, this is this is what we are facing. And then we expect that oh, the insecurity, the fight against insecurity, it can't be won in this way. The people who are really on the on the field, who are risking their lives for Nigeria, who are doing everything for this country, putting their lives on the line, we're not doing the right thing by them. The other day we saw a soldier who had come out, they had given them, you know, pass for him to go and visit his family. He hasn't seen them for over two years. And then he got to the motor park. Of course, he hadn't realized that things were expensive because they didn't even know that, you know, he hadn't been out since they removed first subsidy and how everything was so expensive. He couldn't go back. He couldn't travel. He, he heard the uh, price and how much he was giving, what the salary was. I think he said the salary was like 50000 what he was going to use to go and come wasn't what and he decided to go back and guess what the nigerian military according to reports that we hear we end up arresting that particular person instead of arresting the situation why don't we have a situation whereby anytime military people are traveling they should work with transporters and get them to their houses wherever their bases get them into their town and then you know bring them when they are coming back have certain bring them but they are not supposed to be paying on their own for themselves for this transportation we see how u.s work like in that's why you see soldiers are ready to die for their countries in countries like u.s people know that when something they're being taken care of if anything happens to them their families will be taken care of here you can't even be guaranteed that your children will get basic good quality education if anything happens to you so how do you expect people are going to fight and give their all and put everything on the line for a nation that really doesn't even show that that it cares but anyway let me let me read out the circular that, that came in restricted i know some people are like oh how did this come out and whatever how is a lot of our information going out of the whole nation as it is by the way it says uh blah blah upward review of troops uh, ration cash allowance in line with the COA, that's uh, what's that Chief of Army Staff Command philosophy to transform the Nigerian Army into a well trained, equipped, and highly motivated force. One five. One five is what we highly motivate. I mean, is it English that they like using and they are just banding those English? They, they probably are sitting down somewhere feeling cool amongst themselves. Meanwhile, these people see a lot of generals, see a lot of building estates, building hotels owning so many prime properties all over the country and you want them to be on the line facing Boko Haram with 1,500 1, naira food in their tummy all day they are not serious 
anyway it says the the, the coas has further increased the ration cash allowance of our dedicated troops from 1200 to 1500 per day per day with effect from 1st of february 2024 this review is part of his ongoing commitment to the welfare of troops and the continuous enhancement of their operational capabilities uh, to build morale in a very high battle winning level. I think these people are just deceiving themselves with words. You know when you're doing when you're busy doing nothing but you want the world to think you're doing something. This is what all what this this was uh, circular with the English they abandoned it. It's all about. It is pertinent to state that all formations and unit commanders should note that the monthly sustenance for February 24 has been worked into has been worked with the new rates by the department. In view of the above, I'm delighted to rejoin all formation to enjoin rather all formations and unit commanders to ensure they reflect the review of the RCA by enhancing feeding of their troops. Please acknowledge receipt. Mm. Nigeria, my country. Uh, as I say, we have a long way to go in terms of uh, our priorities. Meanwhile, monies are being spent anyhow. 3, 000, uh, 3, 3 billion naira was used for what you call this thing now uh, uh, verification or social register by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. All sorts of money is being wasted, being used anyhow. The people that really need the money, because as it is right now, we want our economy to grow, we want our era to be strong, we want whatever it is that we're looking for. We need to work on the security of our country. If the security is not taken into, uh, it's not given the right priority, if the political we needed to fight this insecurity is not put in place, we're not going to get out of this. No matter how many people that are arrested, you can arrest the crypto currency platform executives, you can arrest BDC, you can arrest whatever, however, wherever, at the end of the day, it is what it is and that we are not fighting insecurity, we are not doing good governance, we are not reducing the cost of governance, we have an illegitimate uh, government in place that is just there thinking about how to, you know, just use, just waste and use our collective worth in the way and manner that they want to without any regards for, you know, for things the way that they are supposed to be. And it's really crazy. And we must be the ones to begin. We, not, we need to make all of these demands. We Nigerians need to sit up, you know. You do nothing. We are the ones who are mainly going to be affected. They have DSS protecting themselves and their families. They have military protecting them. They have all, all manners protecting them. It's you and I that are left alone. That's why we're being picked up by kidnappers anyhow. That's why we're being killed anyhow. And if we do nothing, they of course don't have any incentive to do anything because as far as they are concerned, Nigeria is working fine for them. <laughs>